past few years, people have started to uh, imagine, would it be possible to actually cure someone who's already infected? But when it infects a person, it inserts its genetic material into the chromosomes of the susceptible cells in the body, and it becomes a permanent genetic element in any cell that it infects. So you have millions and millions of cells in your body that are infected with the virus, and those cells, if they don't die directly from uh, the activity of the virus, they become permanent carriers of the genome of that virus, and they're kind of a time bomb that can reactivate at any time. CRISPR is an exciting new technology that actually been, has been adapted from uh, normal bacteria. Uh, it's a defense system they use to protect themselves from viral invasion, actually. And so basically what it is is a programmable nuclease system that can prevent viral infection or relieve viral infection of bacterial cells. And what researchers have discovered is how to actually program that so that we, it can be repurposed to uh, target genes of interest in mammalian cells, even human cells. On the simplest level, what we're employing is a very precise pair of scissors so that if you thought of the genome as a string and the HIV was uh, a colored, colored dot on that string, we could go in and clip it out with those pair of scissors and then retie the genome together so that the HIV genome was gone, but the rest of the human genome was still intact. The goal would be to actually excise the HIV genome from the infected cells.